Good day, YouTubers. How's everyone doing today? Um, wonderful, I hope. I'm um, just going to pour myself a brew. Um, no one said you can't have fun while doing a CBCS return video. Um, my comic books just came, just came in. So, cheers, um, first off. I sent these books in about three months ago, and I finally got them back. So I sent them in with grades that I thought were a little better than I would expect to get back, um, because I did a pre-screening. So what I did was I sent a book in that looked like a 4.0, and I asked for a 5.0. Um, just in case, like I didn't want to under undershoot um, because I didn't want to pay that premium for the slabbing if it wasn't going to get a premium grade, you know? Um, so I got back a lot of books that came back as raw graded because I told them, just grade my books raw. That's fine. It costs a lot less. Um, it doesn't take as, up as much space and it's still cool. It has the um, tamper-proof seal on the back. I mean, you'll see when I show it to you. Um, but yeah, most of the books that I sent out, I pre-screened myself and was definitely overshooting on the grades. I mean, I knew that. I knew I'd get back a lot of books that uh, were in the raw grade form. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what happened. I did a video before of the grades that I thought these books were going to be. So if you guys are interested in that, check it, check it out. Um, it's the last video I did before this one. And, yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Here's the packaging. Just a little bit of little popcorn thingy-majiggers. And it's wrapped around. I see. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's try to get all these little things back into the box. Not all over the floor. <clears throat> this is what I got back. So obviously, bunch came back raw grade because I overshot, which is fine. Because I wouldn't have, I didn't have to pay for um, the premium price, you know. And I still got it graded, so there's still some sort of verification that you know what the book is and. what it's graded as and as long as the tamper proof seal is intact I, I feel that buyers will just just as much want to buy the raw graded one as the um as the, like regular case one just because they know what they're getting and then if they want to get it pressed because none of these books were pressed if they, if they want to get it pressed and then graded um and slabbed up that's a different story so Check out the ones that I got raw graded. A lot. A lot of them. A lot. A lot of the books came back in raw grade. Because the box is heavy. How are you? How's this done here? Oh, I see. Just off. Okay. Cool. So, I'll show you guys the little tamper-proof um, stickers. Right there. Two stickers, tamper-proof, and Mylar bags. Um, yeah. Fantastic Four, number 46. Um, it got a 4.0. I think I expected a 4.5. <laughs> so that that's how. And if it didn't come back as a 4.5 and it encased, um, I wanted it. I wanted it raw graded. So first appearance of Black Bolt. Um, 4.0. 4.0. Boom. 
numero uno. My first one. And my second one. Also, I guess I believe I guessed a four or five on this on Werewolf by Night number 32. Tamper proof stickers. And it came back a 4 0. 4 0 or 4 5. No, I asked for a 5 0 or a 4 5. One, one or the other. One or the other. Decent book. It came back 4 0. I'm not disappointed because I didn't pay the premiums or whatnot. Okay, yeah, I asked I asked for this one to be like a nine nine four. Um Quantum and Woody, number one, the painted variant. Got an I know. So again I, I was overshooting. I, I, I saw the spine ticks. Um that's what that's what it's looking like. It was because the corners are pretty much flawless. Um except they no, this one's a little blunted. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. But yeah. And I know. I would take it. Joker number one. Seven five. Got a seven five. Um, I love this cover. I love that cover. Joker's hilarious. I want to read that. Laughing at all the other villains. <laughs> that he got his own. Own book. Um, yeah, I think I asked for an 8 on this one. I, these, I have the book somewhere too. My little, my little black book with all my grades. Um, but I know I did a video. So if you guys are interested in what I had them as before, then. All right, now this one I know I, I had way higher than a 7-0. Oh, this one I know I had way higher than a 7-0 because I'm just looking at it now. I, like I feel that it's higher than a 7-0. But again, none of these have been pressed. So with the pressing, this could have easily been an 8. I, I think I went up for an 8 or 8-5 on this one. So. CBCS seems to grade a lot a lot harsher on um, Bronze and Silver Age books, I've noticed. Uh, they, they really do. But that's that's okay. That's That's okay. Should there be like a company-wide standard where it's like every single company grades by the same exact rules so you know exactly what you're getting no matter which company you're going through? I, I don't know. Just just a thought. Uh, Black Lightning, I also thought I should get an 8 I believe. Um, this one I was definitely overshooting. But a 7-5 it could easily, easily have passed for a 7-5. And when I put it as an 8 I, I I thought it might come back as a 7-5, but came back as a 7-0. So there you go. Oh, this one too. Shazam number one. Um, first Silver Age appearance of Shazam. 7-0. I, I expected much higher than a 7-0 on this one. So... I understand the centering kind of sucks. I mean, look at that. Look at that centering. It's cut off. and So the centering definitely sucks, but it's a gorgeous book. The colors are beautiful. The colors are beautiful, and the corners are nice, and the spines are nice. I believe it has white pages in it, too. No, tan, tan pages. It's a beautiful book, though. Oh no, I know, I know why this one got a 5.5 though. It's a, it's such a pretty book. It, it's, it really is, like, it presents way better than a 5.5. Five. It's, the staples are a little browned. Not, I wouldn't say rust, eh, no, yeah, they're, they're rusting. And that, that's it. That that was that was it. That was my one. And I expected a six five. I think on this one, a six five or a seven zero on this one. So same with this one. I expected it a lot higher. I really did. It's such a pretty book, and and it just got a seven zero. 
Spider-Man number 135, Punisher's second appearance. I mean, I love it. I love the book. It's a great looking book. It is a great looking book. But, unfortunately, it didn't get the grade I expected, which was probably an 8-0. Um, Jack Kirby's New Gods, number one. Uh, I think I... So, I forgot that I sent this book in, right? And they called me, and they asked, Hey, you sent in an extra uh, book, um, God Country Number One. And I'm thinking to myself, I thought I sent that out to CGC. Anyway, I didn't question it because I didn't remember. And what happened was... It wasn't God Country, it was New God. So I told them to to shoot for a 9.6 on God Country because it's a brand new book. I'm not going to shoot lower than a 9.6 and get it back, you know. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have shot for a 9.6 for this book, but I believe that that was a phone call I had with them. And they told me God Country. And the first thing that popped in my head is like, yep, I'm sorry I sent that book out. If it doesn't come back a 9.6, just raw grade it. So... Um, yeah, anyway. So, this is an amazing Spider-Man number 129. Um, first appearance of the Punisher, obviously. Um, but, it's a Mark Jewelers variant. You see? So it's a 3-0. I, I, I asked for a 4-0 or a 3-5. Um... But yeah, I, I just bought this book because I knew the shape wasn't, it wasn't in the greatest of shape. But it's a Mark Jewelers variant. So there aren't many out there. So the Mark Jewelers variants are, I, I'd say I, I've seen them in, in worse shape than, than like some other books. The GIs were just throwing them around and you know, that was her last thought, was conserving a book at that time, so. Um, Tales of Suspense, number 47, last, I believe is this last appearance of this suit, before it's uh, the gold and red one that we're more familiar with, so. Yeah, I believe it's this last appearance of this gold suit, so. Where um, the mysterious melter melts it off pretty much so he's got to get a new one um i i asked for a 6-0 or 6-5 i got a 5-5 i'm fine with that like i said the these aren't books that i would have gotten graded um uh now this this one's the disappointment right here because i really wanted to get this one slab and i and i and i thought i was grading it fairly I didn't think I was going too much over what it, what it was, and uh, I, believe, I thought I was going under what I believed it was. Um, I asked for a 7.5 for this book. I, I, I swear I asked for a 7.5. It's Hulk 102. It's um, the re, retelling of the origin story. Um, I, I love that cover. It is Hulk 102, right? Yeah. 7.0. I wanted this one slabbed. Maybe, maybe when I have some money and I feel like getting depressed and re -rated that, then I'll do it. But other than that, I'm happy with that. That's fine. I just can't really display it because on my slabs that I display, well, these are books in front of slabs. But I'll put like this film on um, this clear clear film that is UV resistant so it supposedly gets rid of like 90 something percent of the UV rays and in this room I don't really well, I'll show you guys I kind of my blinds are closed or the curtains are closed anyway so it doesn't get much light the room really does not does not get much light at all so show sure, yes All right. 
I'm done with that. That's that. And that's most of my books. <laughs> so I only got a few back that um, I graded on the dot or or under. Which got slapped. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't know that was happening there, buddy. Need some sort of stand or something. This is not working too great, that's why I must use this Jarzo. Alright. What's in the box? Well, the books that they graded to the level that I wanted them graded at. Alright, so here we go. Um, Submariner number one, seven to five. I think that's what I gave it. That's what it came back as. I believe I gave it a seven to five. And that's what it came back as. All right, yeah. It's a nice book. Again, this thing could have gotten pressed. Could have maybe got it up to an 8 -0. Um And I don't remember giving this one an 8-5. I thought I at least asked for a 9 -0. Quantum and Woody number one. Why would I give an 8.5 to a modern book that really might not have a future and want it slabbed and not overgraded and see if like see if I can get like a better grade? Maybe because you know I tend to undergrade my stuff, so obviously here it shows you that I didn't. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Those are the two slab ones that I got um, out of the lot. And stay tuned for some more vids. I have a haul video coming up. Just gathering some books that you guys see. Here. Let's see if I can point to them. Right there. <laughs> right there. Those are the books that I'm holding on to for a second. Um, get a few more in and open up and show you what I have. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.